Okay, I, I think the camera's rolling. Is the light on? Okay, here we go. Let, let's do this. G'day, Shredders of the world. It's your mate Scotty here with another hit of Shred again. Now, we might have broken into the slalom run for a little downhill mayhem. We did. But maybe they let us in. They didn't. But who's to say? So we're going to look for some trouble while no one else is looking. Let's drop. You've totally got this. Whoa, who taught you how to control? Nice. All right, now for some epic carving. Lean into it and shred. Nailed it. You good. Whoa, who taught you how to control? Slalom so well. Sweet! Nailed it! Oh yeah you did! Hey, it's Lisa. I've got an idea that might fix all of this. Oh my god, what? I just spotted two YouTubers that will probably do anything for a good video. Anything's good, but our budget is like, not anything. Yeah, I'll see what I can do about that. You keep that leg of yours resting and up, it's not gonna heal itself. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm still allowed out. You can't stop me. I know, I know. Just take care of yourself, all right? The heck is this? Someone put a flippin' flag over our jump. We, we, we spent all morning on this thing. Ugh. No worries, this might make it more fun. We're taking this flag out, follow me. This truck is out! <laughs> this is awesome! Yes, take that, you horrible flag! Uh, what are you two doing? Uh-oh. Seriously, what? Uh, sorry? Wait, you... You two look familiar. Are you the Shredageddon crew? Uh, maybe? <laughs> Your channel is terrible, but I love it. Listen, while I love the flag smash, you're wasting your time with this tiny kicker. Hey, it's perfectly sized. Look, follow me to the park. There are plenty more flags to wipe out on the way. And you, with the camera, what's your name? Scotty. Hi, Scotty. I'm Lisa. Make sure you turn your camera on this time, okay? Let's drop. We're going for the flags. Follow me. First one. All right, that's two. Three. Four. Four five. Let's go. Yes! Tell me you got that on film! <laughs> yes, I definitely got that. That was amazing! Wow! Yes! Now, we just have to sell it to the boss. You what? <laughs> hey, I'm Lisa. I do brand marketing for 540 Indie, the, uh, smashed up flag company. We also make snowboards and delightful winter apparel. Wait, are we gonna get in trouble for all of that? <laughs> I should certainly hope not. You post that on socials and it's gonna either explode or fizzle. Listen, 540 has some pretty big branded kickers down at the park. If you could literally do a 540 Indie through a couple of them on film, 
That'd be so badass. I'll even throw in a 540 hoodie or something. I'll mark the spots on your map. We have got to impress Lisa. Let's do a little warm up before we hit the big park. A spin! Nice one. Oh yeah, you did. Come on, give me another spin. I want to see that replay. Okay, try to spin this jump. Nice spinning. Yeah, here's another rail coming up. Really good rail coming up. Yeah, that was so good. Let's head back to the lift. All right, warm up complete. Let's beeline it to the big park. Come on. Oh yeah, you did. Nailed it. Uh, one more go, yeah? Sweet. Oh yeah, you did. G'day Shredders, it's Scotty here, and I'd like to introduce you to my son. What? Hello, I'm little Scotty. I love tiny snowboards. They're way cheaper than your standard snowboard, but whoa, is it hard to get boots in his size. Yeah, these boots do feel a little big, Dad. Oh, my tiny son. Nope. I love you, tiny son. Yeah, no, that's not funny. So before we shred up one of these, can we do a little promo video for 540? Uh, sure. What do you want to do? Maybe like a step-by-step -step on how to pull off an actual 540 indie. Yeah, yeah, we can knock something up. One sec. So, yeah. Uh, hmm. 540 indie. Mad props. Not only one of the most badass snowboarding brands out there, but also one and a half rotations and a little sneaky grab. But to know 540 Indie is to do a 540 Indie. So let's give one a go. Right, uh, we're gonna hit up these jumps and get a couple of shots of you progressively going through the steps of a 540 Indie. Maybe start with a, a cheeky grab and then a 180 grab and then a 540 with a grab, all right? I am loving this behind the scenes action. Your on-screen voice is ridiculous. Oh, hush. Let's drop. Okay, here's the jump. Reach between your toes to do a little indie. Don't forget to land. Shred again. This is indie getting. Ah, nuts. Let's try that again. Rotate your board and go for the indie grab. Let's get you doing a full 540 indie. One and a half rotations while grabbing your toe side. Hey, it's me. Oh, hi, me. Uh, look, a little update. That duo I saw before. Oh, those Shredigons? Shredigeddon. Yeah, exactly. They are going to be perfect. They're good on the slope, they've got at least a little charisma, and they seem dumb enough to do whatever I suggest they do. They might just go along with this, and you won't have to risk that other ankle of yours. Awesome, Lisa. But, but my leg is pretty fine. I can, I can almost walk again. You might be able to walk, but no way can you pull the move tonight. Anyway, I've got to go put up some more signs for these two to shred. Later. S signs? T to shred? What are you doing, Lisa? Lisa! Lisa! What? Are you there? Oh, it's Lisa! Hey, Lisa! Hey! How are my favorite shredders going? Has Flaggy Buster gone viral yet or what? Hell yeah! We've got like 50 likes already! F 50 Yep. 50,000? <laughs> no, 50! Like, like nearly double our last video. So good! Oh, God.
We're going to have to work on this, Scotty. I'll I'll see if 540 can share it. Whoa, that'd be sick. One second, I'm going to get my social guy in the call. Welcome to the voicemail of 540 Indy. If you'd like to leave a message, uh, after his the His phone beep. is always turned off, lost or both. Whoa, holy cow, look at that trick. Uh, Lisa, I just spotted something even better than flags. I, I, I gotta go. What? What's going- We're gonna follow that rider and get some sick shots. Yo, what's up? How's it going? So, uh, like, you were totally following me back there. Um, what's good with that? You guys trying to keep up or something? You are, like, awesome. You should definitely consider going pro. <laughs> yeah, totally, right? I should, like, get a sponsor or something, too. Maybe drop a video on YouTube, Instagram, maybe? Get some views and likes. <laughs> yeah, totally. We're the dynamic duo known as Shredageddon by at least 140 subscribers. Oh, word. Hell yeah, my name is Zeb. Nice to meet you guys. Seriously, can can we please make a video with you? Yeah, sure. Maybe like an intro to the features here at Frozen Wood. I mean, yeah, I'm down. I just pulled up here, so I mean, I don't really know the park too well, but you guys can follow me if you want. Yes, yes, please let us follow you, Zeb. That would be awesome. Hell yeah, let's get it. Yo, Zeb, how about another run? Yeah, let's get it. Run it back. Heck yeah, let's get it. All right, let's go for a straight line through the park. Yo, keep up. <laughs> no, you got to keep up with me. Wow, Lisa, hey! Shredageddon! That was totally badass! You absolutely destroyed that mountain and... Wait, you're... with Zeb. Zeb Powell. I didn't recognize you behind those goggles and... and that head buff? Yeah, I almost never wear this stuff. Why are you wearing it now? Man, it's these lazy game developers. They blew all their money on snowmobiles and parties and now I got stuck wearing goggles and a buff. It's whack. Uh, yeah, that is whack, but you are wearing a dope jacket, Zeb. You have to wear it to the Invitational this weekend. Invitational? Oh yeah, for sure. I love this thing, man. You know that. Wait, there's an Invitational? Hey, yeah, shouts out 32. There's 32 Invitationals? No, Scotty. Just... no. Whoa! Yo, homie was flying back there. What was that? There's a lot of sus riders out here today. Gotta watch out. Uh, are you talking about me, Zeb? 
No, totally not. You're, you're killing it, dude. You're rolling your eyes right now, aren't you? How would you even know? I'm wearing goggles. The mystery of the goggles. <laughs> Alright, let's get it. Let's do some tricks. Follow me. Yo, follow me! Yo, that was dope! Yo, you stomped that! Yo, that was insane! Oh, stomp that! Yo, run that one back, you got it! Zep, Zep, you're writing with your pockets open? Yeah, yeah, I know. Uh, your phone is, is going to fall out. Nah, my phone never falls out. It's all good. Seriously, your pocket, it's right open. Scotty, it's all good. I know my pockets. My phone's not going to fall out. Hey, yeah, I want to introduce you to a friend of mine. This is Knut. Oh, hey, Knut. Oh, hey, nice to meet you. We're thinking of hitting the backcountry on some of these sweet machines. Holy cow, they're amazing. Turbo, four-stroke, controlled suspension, more words. They've got them all. They definitely look dangerous. Yup. So, uh, we need two more of these, right? <laughs> Not even remotely. You, my friend, get a free ride with this rope. I get a what? Just grab onto the rope with both hands, and let's go. Oh my god. responsive too. Try and get some air. There's plenty of sweet kickers down the mountain. This is gonna be sick. It's going to be very ill. Completely tragic. Let's go.
What are you doing? Yeah! Oh my god! Yes! Are you sure you're okay taking the sled out like this? Oh, my foot hurts a lot. I can see that. Do you ever have so much pain in your foot that you just don't want to do anything? Maybe rest up a little more. You want to be ready for the invitational. Hey, hey, hey Lisa. Hey, Lisa, can, can we keep these sleds? Sorry, Scotty. Knut needs to rest his little sled paws for a while. Sleds are out of action for a bit. Ah, Knut. Yeah, Scotty, Knut loves riding these things, but he's going to need to lay low until his foot heals. He did one 540 Indy too many. You gotta watch those landings, Knut. <laughs> Tell me about it. Knut, go chill for a bit. We'll talk later. Peace out, Brussels sprouts. So, the King's event is tonight. I heard this guy is planning the most wild trick. He's hidden a bunch of fireworks and glitter cannons that would make Bon Jovi jealous. Yeah, I, I don't know who that is. Bon Jovi, big hair, 80s. Nope, but she sounds sick. He, it's going to be a huge spectacle. Oh, this would make the best video. We could steal the move. <laughs> yes, you could. But how? Well, Lift 4 is closed to the public for the event, but I could distract Dave the lift operator while you two sneak on and head up the mountain. Then head down towards the Kings, pass through the no entry tape blocking off one of the features, the one that makes it look super closed. Why is it super closed? For the fireworks. Oh my God. And make sure you're wearing as much 540 stuff as you possibly can. All right, you two, I'm going to have a chat with Dave. Don't get caught, film everything and have fun. Oh my God. Totally got this. incredible! 540 was everywhere! Woohoo! You know it! But, wow, are you going to get hell from the King's organizers. Wait, what? I suggest you head out of Frozen Wood for a while until this all blows over. Whew. So, uh, yeah, Lisa suggested we head out of town for a while. Let that King's event calm down. They're gonna be cleaning that slurp for a good long while. This bus should take us to the- Wait, what did you guys do? Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone wired up a color explosion at the King's event, and we, uh, yeah, we jumped straight through and activated it. Oh my god, that kind of sounds crazy. Yeah, yeah, we're kind of laying low for a while until it all blows over. Hey, hey, I'm Scotty. Hi, I'm Arthur. I'm going to the mountain pass. Are you guys going there as well? Yeah, we don't really have any idea what we're doing. I bet you guys would like it. There's a bunch of sweet sidings. We could even film some lines if you want. Awesome! That sounds perfect! <laughs> This is going to be so fun. That was so nice. One more! Yeah! One more time! Nice! Yo! So sick! Alright! 
Uh, this one is one of my favorites. One more! Hey guys, do you see that band there? Uh, barely. I'm pretty sure it's the Beyond Metals boys. No way. Wait, I think we can totally rush down the slope and jump over the van or even bonk. <laughs> yes way. Come over here. All right. What's up, boys? Yo, what up, homies? Arthur, damn, you nearly hit our van, dude. Yo, Tar, yeah, I'm sorry, that was pretty close. What are you guys doing out here? We're just enjoying a few laughs before the Invitational. What, you're going to the Invitational? Yo. No way, we're in that too. Is everyone invited to this? Yeah, it seems like it. Arthur, the jump was sick. Send a few more over the van. Sounds good. We'll have a little session. We'll take the van down the road so you guys can send it over. Yo, so sick. Let's go. Oh God, please don't break my baby. <laughs> we'll try to be gentle, Tornado. Yo, that was so sick. Get ready to jump. Oh, this one looks good. Can I see it again? Ah, sick. I'm pretty stoked on this one. Oh, wait, I have a phone call. Hey, Lisa. Scotty, how are you, Dove? Oh, so good. We've been hanging out with Arthur Longo by the mountain pass. He is so lovely. I know. Listen, you have to get a shot of him saying he loves 540, but in French. Uh, how, how do you say 540 in French? 540. 540. No. 540. 540. Just try it, okay? It'll be great for the French market. Oh, uh, and the King's Park is now open to the public. You should get over here. What? We can go back to King's? Yeah, I think so. They've cleaned up most of the mess, and I think King secretly loved your move. I'm here with Marcus now. Come, come! Oh, and say hi to Arthur. Bye! B bye Uh, so my pal Lisa says hi, and she also wants you to say sank sunk carrots or something. 540? No, no. Sank sunk carrots. <laughs> just look at that! He is going crazy fast. You just watch this. I am watching. Wait for it. Marcus Cleveland. Was that a 1080? No, Scotty. That was like almost two of those. How? This Scotty is the king of spin, Marcus Cleveland. I got dizzy just trying to watch. He just won the king's event almost uncontested. Absolutely spun the heck out of the big air. Just look at this. How do you do that? I definitely don't do that. But maybe you can ask Marcus himself. Hey, Marcus! Oh, hey! How did you get up here so fast? Video game Marcus can quite literally do anything, Scotty. Marcus, these two fine writers are Shredageddon. They're the ones that made that magical mess during the King's event. That was awesome. How did you rig all that? A magician never tells. Uh, they literally stumbled into it, but they stumbled into it with style. Speaking of magicians, you've got to teach us how you spin like that. I can maybe teach you a thing or two, but it's all about control. One rotation at a time. Come on. All right, let's 
Try it slow and build up for something epic. You rocked that one. Let's go for a seven. I know that you can do it. Okay, one more shot at this. You wanna try that again? Let's do it again. Sick. Sweet. Ah, you missed it. Okay, one more shot at this. <laughs> Hell yeah, that was dope. Nice, let's try that again. Yes, that was Ace. Oh, hey Scotty. Oh hey. Jamie hasn't gone home, she's just been hiding out in the old park. J Jamie? Jamie Anderson. Jamie Anderson? Legendary pro snowboarder and winner of the King's event, Jamie Anderson. But d d didn't Marcus win the King's event? There are always two winners, Scotty. Whoa, I thought there could be only one. Uh, this is King, Scotty, not Highlander. Right, so uh, where is Jamie? She's been doing a run at the natural park just behind King's. There's a natural park behind King's? Of course there is. I'll mark it on your map. Now go get it. Shredageddon, get over here. You've got to meet Jamie. She's like the superhero of snowboarding. Ooh, I love a superhero. What's her origin story? What's her, what? Uh, Jamie, hey, I'd love for you to meet two pals of mine under the increasingly awkward name of Shredageddon. Hey there, nice to meet you. I'm Jamie. Hi Jamie, I'm Scott. So I, I hear you're like a snowboarding superhero. Oh gosh, no, I'm just a regular snowboarder from Tahoe. A regular snowboarder with a super interesting Superhero origin story, maybe. Superhero? I'm not sure about that. But I did have a supportive family and a passion for sports from a young age. Well, that certainly sounds a lot healthier than smashing into flags at a ski resort. Better for your mind, body, and soul, Scotty. So, these two are surprisingly good at putting together video parts. Jamie, would you like to film a line? Oh yeah, I would love to film a line. Sweet! I'll fire up the GoPro, let's do this!
That race was so much fun. Oh, uh, hang on. Just give me a second. Gimple God. Hey, Lisa. Hey, so what happened at King's? That was so crazy. Oh, uh, yeah. About that. We had the plan, but whoever that was took it and nailed it. Yeah, listen, I can't really talk about it right now. Huh? They're here with me right now. Put them on the phone. <laughs> Absolutely not. Come on, they're amazing. Okay, just don't say anything. Uh, Scotty, it's Gimbal God. He wants to talk to you. Oh my god. Hello? You, did you really do the drop at King's? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was uh, us. Dude, I was supposed to film that. Wait, what? Yeah, my buddy spent months preparing for that shot. He was supposed to do the jump and I was supposed to film. It was a promo for an invitational he's organizing this weekend. What? Yeah, I hope he's not too pissed, but wow, you really killed that jump. Oh God, I need to apologize. Do, do, you, do you have his number? Yeah, he isn't picking up. Probably lost his phone again. I'm heading down to the industrial area for a shoot. You should come down. We would love that. Sweet. I'll send you my location. Bring Lisa down if you can, too. See you later. Later. So, apparently the trick we stole at King's was supposed to be done by the guy that's organizing the Invitational this weekend. Oh, huh. Uh, really? Yeah, yeah. We we blew it. Oh, I, I don't even know where to start with an apology. What should we do? I'm sh- I'm sure it's fine. Oh god, we've got to make it up to them. Somehow. Oh boy. Uh, bright side though, Gimbal God wants to meet up. Oh, you really, really have to meet Gimby. He's incredible. I'm taking you there right now. Come on, let's go. Uh, so are you Gimbal God? 26 years. I would recognize that face anywhere. The badass is from Kings. Yeah, we really didn't mean to piss anyone off, but yeah, it was fun. <laughs> Don't beat yourself up. I had a look at your channel. You make some pretty rad shots. Lisa, where have you been hiding these two? Oh, they're mine. All mine. You've got to share a little. I'm always the camera guy now, but damn, you've got some skill. You want to come down to the industrial site? Try a follow on the way? Oh, heck yeah, let's do it. Sweet. It's a super fun run, and there should be some good natural hits on the way. Plenty of options for six shots. Let's go. Yo, over here. Renee, my man, you made it. Hey, Kim B. Yeah, I just got here. It's so good to see you. Wow, we're gonna have a crazy day. I came down yesterday scoping out some spots for the shoot. We have to hit the dam later on. Yes, sir. There are a couple other spots I'd love to hit up too. Speaking of hits, did you see the crazy biz at King's yesterday? Sure I did. It was everywhere last night. That was all these two. No way, that was so boss. Oh, shucks. I'm Rene, by the way. Nice to meet you. So, what do you think about them helping out with the shoot? For sure. I'm so down for that. All right. 
Well, we have a bunch of blocks to stack first. I'll hit you later, Scotty, when we're ready to shoot. These winches are boss. When you're close enough, grab the rope. Grab onto the rope with the both hands. Let go. Perfecto. We put winches all over the place. Keep your eyes open for them. A lot of things to jump over. It's so nice. Let's go. Oh, you're gonna feel that one. Natia! Yes! That was so good! No way! That was so boss! Totally nailed it! Oh, hey, Jill. What's up, Lisa? Do you want a job in my factory? You don't have a factory. Yo, I'm busy. You know this. You want a job or not? Uh, one sec. I think Jill Perkins is doing a shoot in the factory. Ooh, I want a job in a factory. Jill, I'll be there in a jiffy. Well, that was something. Lisa, welcome to the factory. Jill, happy to be here. So, what's up? Hey, uh, you see that pipe over there? I see that pipe. I'm gonna need to hit that pipe. You should definitely hit that pipe. You, but you called me here just to tell me that. Yeah, I need someone to film it. You think you can do that? Scotty, you're gonna film Jill hitting that pipe. Got it. And how about you follow Jill along? Double got it. Are you ready? That was awesome. That was so sick. You know, working in your factory wasn't so bad after all. Yeah, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to let you go. What? We'll, we'll try harder, okay? Just, just just give us a second chance. Nah, I'm totally kidding. I know a sick spot down the street we could check out. Wait, 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 we're not fired? Lisa, who is this? Jill Perkins, Shredageddon. Shredageddon, Jill Perkins. Are, are you offering us another job down the street? What's going on? You've got jokes. I think we can keep you. Uh, thanks? That's gonna be like, what, 17, 18 stairs? About, but I'd like to believe it's more about how the spot looks. Incredible work, Jill. You, you ready to hit this? Let's do it. All right, here we go. Hell yeah. That was awesome. Hell yeah. You're killing it. Hell 
yeah! That was so sick! You know, I really don't understand why they have such a huge industrial presence at this altitude. What are they even making? I don't know. Maybe it's a rail factory. Well, I guess you have to make rails somewhere. Ooh, maybe a snow machine factory. Yeah, that must be it. One second. Oh, hey Katie, what's up? Hey, Sammy's giving us a hard time. We really miss you. Oh my god, put it on the phone. Aw, oh, Sammy, I miss you too. I'll be home soon. Just be good for Katie, would ya? <laughs> I love you too, Sammy. That was my dog. She just called to tell me she loved me. It happens. Alright, this might get a little tricky. It comes down to who gets the best line and which one of us has the best style. Are you ready? That was awesome. That was so sick. Have a little bit more patience. Do that one again. That was awesome. That was so sick. Oh, you totally got that. Maybe try it again. One more time, come on. Do that one again. Winches are up! Gimbal God is ready to fill! Wait, what? Gimbal God is here? Yeah! He's about to do a shoot with Rene Rinakankis with winches and wedges and all this cool stuff. Sick! Have so much fun! Oh yeah, it's gonna be fun! Jill, it's been a pleasure. Lisa, always. I'll see you later. Keep your eyes open for some cool spots. There's so much to ride. But damn, I like to go fast, so try to keep up. Spenny, let's go! Alright, let's drop and make some math. Rene, Shredders, let's line this one up. I've got this idea for a shoot. I swear it's gonna look money. You, a dam, you, going down the dam, and then this crazy line through the industrial site. You had me at dam. First, I'm gonna head out just in front and film you heading towards the dam. Just look at this. Look at this. An epic jump right here, and check this transition onto the rooftop. Nuts. Let's just freestyle it. I still can't believe we're about to ride the dam. Let's hit this. Son of a king! Perfecto! No way! The king! Not 
Latvia. Sick. No way. You kidding me? That was it. That was insane. Can we do it again? Ready when you are. Hold on, I got a call. Oh, Seppe, what's up? Yo, Rene, son of a king. How are you doing, my man? Son of a king. Life is good, man. I'm just doing a shoot with Gimby. Are you down for the Invitational? Oh yeah, sweet, man. I can't wait for that. It should be lots of fun. Hey, I just got the keys to the new park. You wanna go check it out? You got the keys to what? The new park. It's still a secret. I'll send you a pin. No way. I'll be right there. All right. See you there. Later. Yo, Rene. Good to see you, my man. How are you? Hey, Sebe. Life is good, man. It's been a while. It has. Sick, man. Oh, I see you found Lisa. Long time no see. Darling! It has been an age! You've got to meet my new besties. This is Shredageddon. They've been making all sorts of crazy shots for 540. Awesome! I just got the green light to break open this park. Should we go check it out? For sure. Rene, you want to do a double backflip first try? Let's make it a double-double. I'm down like a Donkey Kong. Bring your cameras, let's go. This okay, is good. It's coming up. Let's go. Double, double. That was so good. All right, keep your speed close to ours. Multiple coffee, that was amazing. That was definitely my first time doing a triple triple. Let's go for a quad quad. I'm not talking about quad corks. Oh, don't push it too far. I need a break first. Kevin, what's up my brother? Yo brother, where you at? I'm lapping the new park with those crazy shredders. That's dope. We got some insane power over here. Get some sleds and link up with us. All right, hold on for a sec. Do you know anyone with sleds? Oh, we have plenty of sleds snowmobiles. Yeah, Kev, we got sleds. Perfect. I'll send you a pin. Get over here. So, can you get us some sleds? One second. Knut! Hey, Knut! Over here! Knut! Who are you shouting at? Wait, that's Knut! Hello? You need a lift? Knut, what are you doing here? Hey, I'm here to give you a lift. Where are we going? Backcountry, baby. Let's go. Let's go! Kevin, Tor, brothers. Yo, big buck. Seba, no way. You brought these shredders too? 
Lisa? Knut? Let's go! Haha, <laughs> yeah, they're mad fun. They went crazy over the van the other day. That we did. So good to see you two again. It's been a long time. How has it been out here? It's been wild. Crazy terrain. So much power out there. There's never enough. Let's shred already. Damn right. All right, Sebe, shredders. We got a couple of spots we can session. Big buck, let's go. All right, let's get it. Send it, send it. Killing it, homie. Send it, send it. Killing it, homie. Send it, send it. Killing it, homie. There you go. So Lisa, are these the amazing Shreddagoons that you found to do the King's event for me? Shreddageddon? And yes, yes they are. Oh my god, they are awesome. C can I, can I go say hi? No, you may not. Uh, why not? Listen, Knut, this is a very delicate situation. They're great snowboarders, they have no concerns for their life or their limbs, and they're bored. I see? Look, just go along with me on this. We're going to get some amazing 540 publicity. But how? Just take them where they want to go, be your usual jolly self, and don't break any more of your bones. You can bet my left metatarsal on that, Lisa. <laughs> Lisa, when you called Knut before, how did he hear you? Knut's always around. You just have to holler. Try it. What, now? Yeah, try it. <laughs> okay. Knut! I need you, Knut! Th th this is not gonna work! What kind of name is Knut any- Whoa! Oh hey, how did you get here? There's an app for that. It's called Knut, Knut as a Service. How does this work? Don't need to understand how. Just climb on, Scotty. Yo, come on, let's go! Grab on. I'm gonna get some air time on this beast. Reckon we can tap that tree branch? I bet you can tap that tree branch. Oh god, we're gonna tap that tree branch. Yes sir, tornado, fire up your dead cam. Got you bruh. Oh god, we are gonna tap that tree branch.
We're so stoked to finally make this happen. If we get the shots right, it'll be banger. Oh yeah, what have you guys been cooking up? Drone, shooting, fireballs. Wait, what? The drone will shoot flares to light up this beautiful line. It's gonna be insane. What? How did you do this? Science and snowboarding, my man. Science and snowboarding. Damn, those ciders were delicious. Hell yeah, bro. This was unbelievable. I, I can't believe the shots we got. Damn, check this hit. Oh, what? Elias Ellard is in town? Legend. Ah, oh, that makes sense. Check out this crazy run he set up through this old town. Jesus, bro. Oh, I know where that is. We have to go. But how do we get there? I can take you there. Whoa, Knut, where did you come from? I've literally been here this whole time. Oh. Huh. Yeah, I'm heading back towards Rosewood. I'm happy to drop you off on the way. Hey, let's go! Here we are. Now this place has been super quiet the past few years. I'm not even sure if anyone still lives up here. If you need me, y'all know where I am. See you, Knut! So, if one were to want to find Elias, where would one start? There's literally no one here. Literally, Scotty. I think you might be right. Let's take a run through town and see if we can see any signs of life. All right, let's do it. Why, hello there. Big day out hiking? Yep, well, it's a really cool run, but quite a bit of a hike. Good to see another face out here. <laughs> yeah, there aren't many faces around these parts. So what are you doing all the way out here in Corvo? I came up to visit an old friend, Marino. He lives up here and is running the last remaining ski lift, but I think he might have taken the day off today. Marino. Oh. I've heard of him. We called him Old Man Murray when I was growing up. He's an enigma. <laughs> yeah, he's a legend. Single-handedly keeping this tiny town alive. I just had to make a film of him. A film about Old Man Murray? Surely he's too mythical to be caught on camera. I mean, the town is gorgeous, though. You should see this run that Marino and the locals set up. It's amazing. I just want to see Old Man Murray. And I want to check out that run. Let's go. Life's so good up here. Just look at it. A lot of people move down the frozen wood, but hey, there's so much soul and beauty in these tiny towns. Come on, let's check it out. Well, that looked so good. Yes, 
You got that so well. Wow, that was epic. Good on you. Wow, that was so much fun, but hey, I'm absolutely exhausted. Yeah, I can only imagine how intense taking laps all day has been. We got dropped off by a snowmobile and I'm already pooped. Seriously? Well, a snowmobile would have definitely made it easier. <laughs> no kidding. Um, and if you're still around, come by tomorrow and we can do some filming. For sure. Later. Big fall coming up. Hey, 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 Lisa! Oh, hey there, Scott. Oh, uh, no, not again, Scotty. Th this time I brought a friend. What? Hi, Lisa. I'm little Lisa. Scotty, you cannot do this. Oh, it's going to be great, Lisa. I love you. Scotty! I love you too, <laughs> big Lisa. Oh, I think Lisa prefers regular Lisa. All right, I love you too, regular Lisa. This had better triple our sales, Scotty. You triple the beating of my little heart, Lisa. Ah, tiny self-love. Oh wow, Leanne Pelosi is calling. Oh hey Leanne. Lisa, I need your help, where are you? Up in the old village, Corvo, are you in our helicopter? Jake is lost, I need someone to help me find him in the backcountry ASAP. Are you able to help? Where are you? Wow, wow, okay, just head to the top of Corvo. We'll make our way down to wherever you can pick us up. Great, I'm nearly there. Just find a nice clearing and I'll land the helicopter to pick you up. On it. It's it's going to be okay, Leanne. Okay, just find a clearing. Jake needs us. Oh my god, Scotty. Leanne's coming to pick us up in our helicopter. We have to go. What, we have a helicopter? Of course we have a helicopter. Let's go. Lisa, can you hear me? Yes, hi, Leanne. Thank goodness. Okay, I have eyes on you from the heli. Yeah, there are two. 
freedom. Thank you so much. You have no idea how slow this afternoon has been. Leanne, that storm came out of nowhere. Thank you so much for the rescue. I'm just glad you're okay. That hut sure came in handy, didn't it? (laughs) Yes, that was one very handy hut, but uh, there is an amazing mountain behind us. Let's hit it already. We gotta be careful though. Snow after a heavy fall like that out here can be super sketchy. We should probably head back down, but carefully. It's Red Again time! We're here today with Jake Blavelt and Leanne Pelosi, and we're about to head down this super steep slope. So, uh, Jake, any safety tips for the folks back home? There's the basics. Don't go out straight after the storm, you know? <laughs> like uh, now? Yes, exactly like now. Don't do this. Let the storm snow settle. Gotcha. Oh, and never go solo if you can avoid it. Bring Leanne. She's the best. Oh, Jake. Yeah, you can always bring me on your trips. That would be amazing. And I agree, I think the conditions here are pretty stable. We are good to go. All right, the sun is shining. Let's stack some clips. Can you see the chopper yet, Leanne? No, but we're getting close. Oh, there it is. I see the chopper. I still can't believe Lisa had a helicopter just lying around this whole time. I know! It was so great of her to lend it to us for the shoot. How long do you and Jake have it for? Until the Invitational. Having Knut up here to pilot it has been super helpful. Knut? The snowmobile driving Knut? Yeah! Knut's the best! Knut! Hey! Do you think we can get a bump? Would you like a bump to the top? How are you everywhere, Knut? Of course I'm everywhere. Everywhere's the best. It's been a blast, but I've got to get Jake and Leanne back to Frozen Wood for the invitational kickoff party. Ooh, I like parties. Yeah, well, we uh, only have enough room for four people in the helicopter. So I'm afraid you two are going to have to come back the uh, long way. What? Oh, Scotty, it's not that bad. I have a sled waiting for you at the base of the mountain. Ah, but helicopter. Scotty, it's golden hour. It's a perfect time for a gorgeous ride. 
give me a call when you get back to Frozen Wood, okay? Oh, fine, Lisa. Enjoy your helicopter ride. Scotty, do you want the sled or not? So, sorry, sorry. I, 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 I just really love helicopters. I know you do, Scotty. But sleds are fun, too. Knut's flying us back, so you'll be able to drive it yourself this time. Uh, what? Oh, hell yeah. I, I also love sleds. That's my Scotty. See you back at Frozen Wood. <sighs> Have a fun party. We, we we have to get into that party somehow. Let's get back to Frozen Wood now. Well, here we are, the night before the Invitational. One hill away, but still miles from it. We were so close, I'm sure of it. Antics with Zeb, knuckle-hucking with Marcus, epic spines with Leanne and Jake, the rooftops with Elias, and literally not dying once with Beyond Medals. We, we've got to convince them that we're worthy. Listen, this might sound crazy, but we've, we, we've got to break into that party in a way that would put the King's Jump to shame. You see that stage? We're gonna grind it. All the pros are going to lose it. Yeah, let's do this. Lisa, Lisa, we gotta get in. Into what? The Invitational tomorrow? You've literally been the Invitational megastars for days now. But, but we, 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 we stole the organizer's trick back at, back at King's and we made them super mad. <laughs> oh my God, no, uh, Knut. Oh, what? You rocked it. What, Knut? You, you seriously turn up everywhere. Of course, I wouldn't want to miss a beat of this. You realize that Knut is the organizer of the Invitational. What? This whole time, Knut has been the snowmobile driver, the helicopter pilot, the boss of 540 Indy, and the organizer of the Invitational. Yep. Holy splothering whip-wop. I can't believe it. All week we've been stressing out about the Invitational. This whole time. You, you've just known? Why didn't you tell me? Yeah, I... I'm sorry about that, Scotty. When Knut busted his leg, he couldn't do the King's prank, and yeah, you two were just too good. But you could have said something. Anything. What if we called it the Shredageddon Invitational? You... what? That would be sick. Boom! Let's do this. See you on the slopes tomorrow. We've got a big day of epic shredding ahead of us.
Have fun, enjoy the ride.